Good morning and hello everyone. Today is another travel destination and we are heading to Macau. We are going to take a ferry ride from Hong Kong and it will be roughly an hour sailing time to Macau. There are a lot of ways to go to Macau but we choose to ride the ferry for extra adventure. It will be exciting so follow us while we explore Macau. Macau is quite different from Hong Kong. Macau's history and culture is richly influenced by European Portuguese. Before it became a special administrative region of China in 1999, it was under a legislative assembly appointed by Portuguese government. Macau is also home of many casino resorts. That is why it is called the Las Vegas of Asia. Our first stop for this trip is the Fisherman's Wharf and the Roman Amphitheater Ruins. The Fisherman's Wharf features unparalleled leisure and entertainment facility. There are an exhibition center and this restaurant choices of both global and local flavors. It is definitely a fun place to visit. Nearby is the Roman Amphitheater Ruins. A spectacular 3,500 square meters once represents the glorious Roman Empire. The amphitheater dates back in the 1st century AD, and the one you see in Macau is a vivid replica of the breathtaking Colosseum in Rome. It is indeed a breathtaking sight to see. So let's go and explore more. Our next destination is the Ruins of St. Paul or Ruinas de Sao Paulo. Before reaching the location of the ruins, we are going to explore first one of the busy streets in Macau. And oh boy, there are a lot of people here. This is our tourist area, so it is extra busy. And you'll see a lot of vendors in the street and local shops. So it will be a good spot to do your shopping for souvenirs and gifts for yourself or your loved ones. The ruins of St. Paul are the ruins of the 17th century Catholic religious complex. The Church of St. Paul, also known as a Mater Dei, dedicated to St. Paul the Apostle. Today, what was left is just a facade of the church and it is one of the best known landmarks in Macau. I think it is a must-see destination when visiting Macau, not only for history but for an amazing architectural landmark that survived the test of time. We are heading now to our next destination. Did you know that gambling in Macau has been legal since 1850s, 
when the Portuguese government legalized the activity in this autonomous colony. Since then, Macau has become known as one of the gambling capital in the world. But since we don't gamble, we are just going to visit the Venetian Casino Hotel and Resort to enjoy the ultimate dining and shopping experience. The Venetian Casino Hotel and Resort is one of the biggest casino in Macau. It is absolutely beautiful structure with an impressive gambling area. Aside from the shopping, gambling and dining experience, you can also ride a gondola indoor and give you that Venetian experience. Overall, we had a fun experience in Macau and I wish we could have stayed a bit longer to truly appreciate what Macau has to offer. Until next time, thanks for watching.